Hi, thank you so much for requesting your eight-step checklist for self-relaxation and self-massage tips. I'm Dr. Jeanette DeWitt with DeWitt Physical Therapy and Wellness. And one of the first things that you can do to help relax is to learn to breathe correctly. This means diaphragmatic breathing. It means that when you inhale, your belly is going to go out, and when you exhale, your belly is going to go in. On the checklist that I have provided for you with the PDF, you're going to be able to click on or copy and paste a link to a YouTube video about how to perform diaphragmatic breathing correctly. You will see that throughout these eight steps that there are PDF, on this PDF, that there are links to different videos so that you can see exactly how to perform the technique or the tip correctly. The first tip, like I said, is diaphragmatic breathing. The second tip is going to be paying attention to your posture at your computer. I like to say, think of the 90-90-90 position. Your hips are at 90 degrees, your knees are at 90 degrees, and your elbows are at 90 degrees, and then the, the computer and everything else just falls right into place. You will see on a video for that how you can set up your workstation to accommodate the 90-90-90 position. Our third step is to pay attention to your posture when using your smartphone. There's also a video link to give you tips on reducing neck strain as well as hand or arm numbness and tingling following the prolonged use of a smartphone. This is really key because there is such a thing called tech neck and reducing the strain on your neck and on your arms when you're using a smartphone is a great way to promote relaxation. The fourth thing that you can do is use a tennis ball for self-massage techniques. Again, there's going to be a link on that PDF that's going to show you exactly how to use a tennis ball a couple minutes at a time to reduce muscle strain in your neck as well as in your back. Our fifth tip is using self-massage technique with a body back buddy. There's a video link for this as well, and you will be able to see how and why to use the body back buddy in addition to other techniques to reduce pinpointed muscle tension areas. For the sixth tip, we have the self-massage technique with the stick. This is also known as the runner stick. And in the video attached with the link provided on the PDF, you will see how you can use the stick for the upper body, for your back, and for your lower body, like your legs and your feet, to help reduce muscle tension. Tip number seven is a self-massage technique with the foam roller. Again, this video is going to show you exactly how to use a foam roller and reduce muscle tension throughout your back and through your legs. And our final tip, number eight, is going to be performing self-stretches. In this video link, you're going to see how to stretch from head to toe the most common stretches and the most effective stretches and helping overall body muscle relaxation, and also just a great way to improve your flexibility and decrease tightness. And there you have it. You have eight tips on this PDF with some video links so you know exactly how to perform the stretches and the tips. The first tip is going to be breathing through your belly. The second tip is going to be setting up your computer workstation correctly. The third tip is paying attention to how you use your smartphone and how your posture is when you use your smartphone. The fourth tip is using a self-massage technique with a tennis ball. The fifth tip is using a self-massage technique with the body back buddy. The sixth tip is using a self-massage technique with the stick. The seventh tip is using a self-massage technique with the foam roller. And the eighth tip is performing self-stretches. 
Now, one of the things that I have not mentioned on this PDF, but are two bonus tips because you're watching this video, is I recommend that if you've had pain for greater than 10 days, it's probably not going away on its own. Please implement any of these eight tips, and if you're still having pain in another 10 days, please consult with a physical therapist. You can also consult with a massage therapist. That's the 10th bonus tip, or the second bonus tip. So you have eight tips on the PDF, and your two bonus tips are consulting either with a physical therapist or a massage therapist to help implement some of these tips and make sure that you're doing them correctly, but more importantly, letting someone else do some hands-on therapy with you to help reduce the muscle tension so that these tips are more complementary and you get the best bang for your time. If you have questions and want to connect with either myself, the physical therapist here at DeWitt Physical Therapy and Wellness, or with our massage therapist here, please don't hesitate to call us at 262-842-2220 or visit us online at dewittptwellness.com. Thank you.